Yale Pathology is playing a central role in multidisciplinary patient care teams, bringing personalized cancer therapy to patients at Yale New Haven Hospital and Smilo Cancer Hospital as Yale Medical School celebrates its bicentennial and its long tradition of discovery. Yale has an amazing legacy of discovery. It goes back more than 200 years. The discoveries were numerous. The first use of chemotherapy, pathology of radiation injury and pandemic flu, interstitial lung disease, techniques we use today, uh, in situ hybridization, fluorescent in situ hybridization, telomere biology, these uh, things which are very germane to practicing pathology today. You know, their first manifestation uh, worked on here at Yale. Now in the 21st century, I think what's most exciting for us is that we're seeing the discovery and these sort of technologies find their way into our daily practice of pathology. These are creating unique opportunities for pathologists to not only use traditional tools we've always used in anatomic pathology, but to integrate these in a very uh, transparent way to do better patient diagnosis or directed therapies. Clinicians and pathologists are working in multidisciplinary teams like the Endocrine Tumor Board. The tumor Board at Smilo Cancer Hospital is provided by the academicians over at Yale School of Medicine. We have subspecialists and researchers and clinical caregivers and indirect caregivers such as us in pathology who are able to get together in the same room and perform multidisciplinary management decisions as a team. We're able to review each other's findings, challenge each other as well as to our findings, to be able to come up with the best possible decision for that patient. I actually did end up having to call this one suspicious and send it for BRAF testing, unfortunately. Just curious if Dr. Holt would agree with that plan. The innovation of using BRAF molecular testing coupled with cytology allows us to preoperatively, on a minimum amount of material, tell this patient exactly what's wrong via personalized medicine. The result of this test at our institution has been to increase the number of papillary thyroid carcinoma cases by approximately 25%, and this allows definitive management at the outset. In this 21st century model, anatomic pathologists are increasingly leveraging innovative technologies such as biomedical informatics, molecular diagnostics, and high-throughput genomic methodologies to expand their role as key consultants in the healthcare team. Probably the fastest growing recent area of development in molecular diagnostics is so-called tumor profiling to detect predictive markers which will okay. predict whether a tumor will respond to a specific drug relative to cancer. We have developed a new approach to doing this which is actively used by us and we use it routinely to provide diagnoses to oncologists for drug selection. And in addition, we're rapidly moving to augment and perhaps replace that approach by doing targeted genomic sequencing to the predictive markers and prognostic markers as well. The new power we have is to use molecular technology, genomic technologies, to identify specific lesions in tumors that point to very specific and effective therapies that have come out of the biotech revolution. So now there's a ability increasingly to identify lesions through traditional methods, map the changes in that lesion to therapies, and advise clinicians of what's going to really work in this patient. That's a real revolution, and that's the revolution we're really excited about here. The Department of Pathology at Yale is internationally recognized for its expertise in gynecologic and breast pathology. We recognize that cancer is a very complex disease. We are now utilizing state-of-the-art molecular technologies to look at tumor profiles that can identify markers that can be utilized for individualized therapy for the patients with cancer. As an example, I would say HER2 is commonly used for breast cancer, but our gynecologic oncologists have pioneered the application of HER2 in management of endometrial cancer, providing a very special care for the patients who come here with endometrial cancer. 
The molecular revolution in our discipline, the breadth of knowledge we need is, is a, presenting a real challenge in our training programs. In our own programs, we're experimenting with ways to allow residents to be trained in the traditional methodologies and traditional material, and yet still find time in the program to learn the newer technology they need to know, both in informatics and genomics and molecular diagnostics, and how those are going to change their practice in the 21st century. The training here at Yale is a very special program because we are a subspecialty-based system where residents sit one-on-one -on -one with experts in the respective fields for sign-out every day. With the subspecialty sign-outs, the residents can learn these subtle features which help us to distinguish variant types of cancer, for example, in breast cancer diagnosis, to distinguish different subtypes. Sharing the spotlight with education is Yale's firm commitment to research. Yale is a major academic center, and research is the third leg of our tripartite mission, which is teaching clinical care and research. While we've had a long history of research and applied in basic areas, increasingly we're seeing the basic research be extremely relevant to very real clinical questions. We see the future of these newer technologies enabling us to do a much more precise job of diagnosis and of directing patient care. These newer technologies while seemingly expensive in their own right, really allow us by being very precise in terms of giving the right therapy to the right patient to a lower cost. To summarize it like I like to tell my residents, I tell them they've chosen well. Pathology is uh, the most exciting discipline of the 21st century.